right in front of me this is the gh led clock and you can see that big numbers the date the day and the temperature will all be displayed and i actually got rid of my old ones and trying to upgrade here so as always i like to unbox give you my initial impressions and of course showcase how it looks and works okay so here's a quick operation manual and on the back side it tells you how to maneuver things and it says the remote right away that you can control it all without having to get up and turn things off and on as all the numbers the temperature in celsius or fahrenheit the alarm clock and you can change the brightness and snooze and turn it all off and here it has its own proprietary charger with a usba plug-in port it looks like speaker wire but it is pretty long as you can see that it's really winded up there so you'll be able to set it far away and be able to move it at a wall that you would like without a short cable so this is a long cable and then it looks like an extra battery but this battery will be plugging into this little spot here so we're just going to move that out you're going to want to put this in and squish it all the way down till it makes contact right in there seated if it gets disconnected it doesn't lose its memory okay so let's talk about the back side this is like little spot so you can hang little nails or thumbtacks to even in this front portion there's a little vent or speakers here and then you got inside here where you could curl the wire if it's too long so you don't have a nasty long cable hanging out there's this little spot for the cable if you put it against the wall. And then lastly, we can see that it has legs. So if you don't mount it anywhere, you can just set it on your desk there and it sits. And then for the buttons, we can see snooze, down, up, alarm, and set. So you can do all this stuff without the need of the remote. If you lose it, at least you'll have the ability to do it all there. All right, let's look at the front. Big numbering, you have a little tab here that you take off the screen protector while shipping, so it's going to be really brand new looking. But I'm not going to be making this a portable device there, but look how clean that looks. I'm not. I'm going to try not to touch it. Right here in this square spot is where you're going to plug in. Okay, so this doesn't have its own battery. It does need to be plugged in at all times, but look at this cable. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna be long. It seems to be around six feet or bigger. Okay, and here I have my favorite portable charger. Carry this everywhere because it does my cables all in one little area. Absolutely love it. And you can just plug this into an outlet and charge. I say that because a lot of people will ask me, so that's why I brought it up. And just to show you that a simple portable charger can power this guy up and Ooh, I'm looking at it from the top camera here and we got color and what I noticed right away is that there is no sound uh, like a buzzing noise or anything like that so there's Celsius and there's Fahrenheit so that's where I'm gonna keep it in my room currently the temperature that is receiving right here underneath where everything the light and my computer is is 80 degrees and that's pretty hot for me I would have my air conditioner on but it is definitely noisy so I can't have it on while I'm making videos so that it doesn't look like bulbs or little tiny LEDs everywhere I know it's flickering but that's not what really is happening in real life it looks like an LCD screen it just looks really clean really nice the grayed out areas are more seen from my camera than it is just seen with your own eyes if I click on to the alarm we got the blinking so we can set the alarm and this is we can give you like zero three and there's EN and we are in 22021. And every time you click on the clock button here, okay, so we're at 9 21 Tuesday, correct, and we're at 82 degrees. So this is exactly it's 420 actually. 04 hit the clock, go to the next side and go 20. That's how simple that was just to, you know, make everything work. And just imagine this somewhere on your wall, on your desk. Okay, so I set the alarm for 627, three feet away. Oh, there we go. So that's, oh, starting to get faster. Yep, so it's going into intervals. And with the remote, I just got to hit this one off. Hit it. There we go. 
alarm is off. And again, this is just being powered by this portable charger. I can't see any of the gray lettering. It's not really flickering like my camera's picking it up. But yes, so if you lose power, that battery back here that we put in, is gonna save the settings so you don't have to redo all the steps again. So if we lost power, we just lost the power no more it doesn't run off a of battery it just has a little memory in there that's keeping track internally so when power returns we are back in business with the same time nothing changed we don't have to fix anything so yeah this is perfect for me i'm going to hit the power button and that turns off the display so if you're watching a movie you don't need to see all that brightness and then turn it back on so you can see what's going on i love how clean and easy it is to set up excellent for what i need and i'm sure someone's going to find this very useful and, and would want it themselves so there you guys have it if you want it for yourself you already know what to do find it all in the description down below and as always thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time later